Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're doing an IGCC exam preparation and we've got a core paper, paper three, and question three. So we have uh, a list of food and their calories that this person, Clint, is going to eat and we've got to work out the total number of calories in Clint's lunch. So bread roll is 78, bagel 69 and so forth. So he has one bread roll, so he has 78. He has one lettuce leaf, one, one tomato, three, two slices of chicken, so that's times two there, that's 120, and one apple, 53. We're going to work out the total number of calories there. So if I just add the smaller numbers, well, some of the smaller numbers, 78 and 83, so it's 78 and 3 is 81, 82, uh, add 80 to that, it's going to be 202 plus that 53, so I get 255. Fortunately, it's a calculator paper, so I can just add those up as well. Seven, 78 plus 3 plus 1 plus 53 plus 120, yeah, 255. Okay, so that should be the number of calories that he eats. And work out that as a percentage of 2,500. So 255 divided by 2,500. And then we're going to times that by 100. So let's go 255 divided by 2,500 is 0 0.102 as a decimal times by 100, 10.2%. Okay, then it says to us, and then it asks us, Bagel costs 0 0.65. Find the greatest number of these bagels that Clint can buy with $10. So we're going to do $10 divided by 0 0.65. Again, it's calculator paper. So you might have a GDC or a scientific calculator. 10 divided by 0 0.65. 15 and a little bit. So in terms of whole bagels, it'll be 15. Now, 15 times 0.65 is 9.75, that's how much that'll cost. So the change, 10 minus that answer, answer button's really important in your calculator, 0.25. Okay, so there we go. That's some practical uh, real world maths, looking at calories and costs, and that's an IGC question. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.